everyone. I'll just wait for this to kick in. I'll wait for the notification to come and then we'll uh, have a bit of a, a quick update and a bit of a chat. Um, because we've got someone else having rent issues and other card issues happening today. So just bear with it. Okay, so I'm waiting for the notification to come up here. <laughs> it's already come up on my computer. So yeah, a couple of people coming in. Hello, hello. Oh, a few more. Oh, I've got 10 people here. Keep going, keep going. I'll give it another couple of minutes or a minute or so, not even that. So, another interesting day in the world of Hindu cashless debit card holders having problems and being stuffed around. So, um, early in the week I spoke about a lady who had had her housing limit reduced to $117 a month. Mm. Nobody can pay rent on $117 a month, trust me. So this lady's been fighting with them um, and they won't budge. All right, so she's just sent me a message, an update. Um, Services Australia that changed her transferable amount still won't let her do a full week's rent amount. Okay, this is disgusting. Now, this is one from Brisbane. Okay, so um, with this person, they were using their cash payment so that they didn't fall behind in rent and they didn't end up with the black marks that everybody else was. And they had their rent allowance, their approval for $1,040 a month, which was their rent. That was in their rent allowance. Um, and if they were a bit short, they would use that to transfer over to pay the rent. No problem. Services Australia and Indu decided there was a problem. Calculated how much money she'd been spending in rent with her cash portion and deducted that from her rent allowance and decided that her rent allowance was only going to be $117 a month for her whole rent. Now, that's not fair because everybody is supposed to have their rent allowance where their rent sits. So it makes me look like they're, they're now pushing this lady to use oh, oh. All, all of her cash allowances for her rent and only have $117 a month in the housing category. But they're refusing to change it back to its... She can't even pay a full week's rent, not one week. So she's put in an appeal, but she doesn't know how long it's going to take. And we've advised her to contact certain senators, um, Senator Anthony Chisholm, Senator Larissa Waters, Senator Rachel Seawood, etc. You know, um, this is just not good enough. This is not good enough. They are deliberately making every one of these rent issues is a woman. So I don't mean to be sexist, but this is what's happening to women. So, Scotty talks about respect for women. And this is how you treat our women, Scotty. You deny them the ability to pay rent. You make them homeless, even when they're pregnant. Or even when they've got a six-week-old. You know, you threaten them. You, you refuse to pay their rents, so they put them at risk. It's, it's getting ridiculous, because it's back to every day. So, um... Some information came in from the support group. Some people up in Harvey Bay had problems with the car today declining in Coles, Woolworths, Chemist Warehouse and one of the fish and chip shops. Okay, so that's fine. That's the cards declining in Harvey Bay at odd places. We don't know why. And then um, Tempest lets me know that in Perth today, the card declined at Woolworths and it declined at Super Cheap. So it's now declining all over the place at random places. Why are people being subject to this abuse? I don't know. And the government thinks it's okay to do this to people. I'm in a bit of a mood because on TikTok we've got a bit of an idiot that seems to 
um, have delusions of grandeur about his status within society and he seems to think that um, the taxpayer should have a say on how their money is spent. Oh, that gets my back up. Can't, he doesn't understand. And I said to him, you sound like Pauline Hanson. <laughs> and I said, so you obviously don't understand Australian law and social security payments and how they work. And he was whinging about how the you know the the workers and the taxpayers um, are being um, oh, what was the word um, they're basically being disadvantaged because they're having to pay tax, which is less money, so that controls what they can buy and where they can go. And it was like, oh my god, I cannot handle people who seem to think they have the right to come into another person's house life finances bank account and dictate to that person what they can eat where they can go where they can live if they can pay rent if they can pay a bill right and we've got a lot of these self-entitled self-righteous people who seem to think they have that right a stranger three doors down from you you know i'm just this is a hypothetical seems to think that he can come into your house and look in your fridge and say, no, you can't buy that. No, you can't buy that. No, I don't want you to have that. No, you can't have that. No, I don't want you to go there because I'm paying taxes and I, I get to have a say what you're doing with my taxes. What these people don't understand is unless they're in the government, and this is, I mean, the language he's using is Pauline Hanson's language. Unless they're in the government, or they're in the top corporation of a CEO, um, at any time during their life, they could end up on a social security payment. And they could be subject to the very treatment that they want to inflict on others. And you can't seem to get this across to these people because a lot of these people have this mentality. They think they're up there. But to be quite honest, unless you're a CEO of a company, a big corporation or a politician, you're not up there... You're not Teflon coated like they are. You can fall down. Your crown can fall off your head as quick as anybody else's. You could fall off that ladder tomorrow or fall off the roof or have a car accident. Anything can happen. No one can read the future. But to try and interfere in someone else's life and what, and, and then he comes back with, well, laws can be changed uh, by referendum and rights can be removed by referendum what does that sound like to you that sounds like pauline hansen doesn't it she considers that we don't have any rights and you know they want a referendum to take the rights away from 40 or 50 or 60 percent of the population meanwhile she'll retire one day hopefully right with like 20 or 30 or 40 million dollars in the bank she won't care what she's done to her neighbor down the road or the little old lady down the street or the single mum up the street, or that casual worker working two jobs, living in a tent, they won't care. All right? Every Australian should have their human rights protected. Every Australian, right, is entitled to be protected and have those human rights protected and have those legal rights under law protected. But we've got some really jumped up people who seem to live in the land of lords and ladies and nobles and the rest of us are all peasants and plebes and, and you know they want the power to inter directly interfere in your life and that's one of the things that drives me nuts it really does all right and Dan Burt says if it's TikTok it's most not not old enough to vote oh it's old enough to vote there's a lot of oldies on there like me mate <laughs> quite fun actually some of them are hilarious some of them are hilarious. It's 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 really um, a different environment, and yeah, people that I have talked to um, in other groups when I said that we were on TikTok as no cash as debit card Australia, and my handle is Kath says no CDC. Um, they laughed. Aren't you a bit old for TikTok? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's TikTok's got a lot of trolls, but at the same time. I'm finding a lot of people asking questions and I can do quick video answers for them 60 seconds. Do you know what I mean? Instead of typing out the answer, I just hit the camera button 
and I verbalized the answer for them and um, I've only been on it for a few weeks um, and I've got like just over about 670 followers um, I think my tag myth busting the CDC or something's had 66,000 followers and stuff like that so yeah I'm not very good at it. I want to learn how to do more with the platform um, in order to edit videos and add in more information. You'll see others where they add in information and they can point to it. I'm not very good at that sort of stuff. But I don't have anybody around me who uses TikTok that can show me. Um, so I'll work it out eventually. But for now, I'll do my videos and I'll put my topics up. And I get my followers and people are getting the message out. And and I've got a new a new group of followers. And then I let them know about these pages and they come to the pages. And, and some people I've actually contacted and ended up on the phone to them. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's another platform, another way to get information out to the public um, all across the country. And, yeah, I enjoy it. It's Except for when you get idiots like him. And his handle is The Simpsons, but there's a gap in Simpsons. So I called him Simple in the last video I replied to. So, And then I thought, no, I'll, I'll delete it. I won't even bother replying to him because he's getting too ahead of himself. He seems to think he's a lord. And I haven't got time for that attitude. That's very selfish. Do you know what I mean? I'm more interested in what can we can do when the card goes down and when the department is deliberately stuffing it around with the rents of people, especially women and children, and putting them at risk of putting them on the street, you know, and, and how they're treating people they've already put on the street. And the public needs to know about that. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's disgusting. And, and they're risking people's lives, literally, because once people end up on the street, they're not safe. They're not safe. It's not safe to be sleeping on the street or in your car somewhere. Or... Oh, this system. Um, it's sad state of affairs that we've got. I just saw a video come through my news feed of the Sydney um, Martin Place. Um, and they feed the homeless people and people that are disadvantaged. And they've just put up a little bit of a live video of the Sydney's kitchen. And there's this great big long line of people waiting in line for their meals. And like I just shared it to my own timeline and I put Australia 2021. It, we shouldn't have the equivalent of soup kitchens. Right? We should have homes for everybody and people should be secure. And people on the cashless debit card should not be in the position where they're... Um, they can't eat, they can't pay their bills and they can't buy their rent, you know, buy what they need and pay their rent due to the failure of a private company again. So anyway, I'll keep you guys informed if anything else pops up overnight. I'm just um, actually going to go to another section because another person um, just came in and left a comment and I'm just going to see what it was. Uh, somebody posted something, but it's from a site I can't see, so that'll get removed. Okay, so today is the... No, it's all right. Okay, so... Oh, nothing there. I did another podcast today with um, Desley. That'll come out on one of our pages. That was more general topics. Um, yeah. So that's all I've been up to today is a Zoom meeting, doing a podcast and um, collecting more information about the car. All right, I'm going to say goodnight and I uh, don't know whether I'll go play with the troll on TikTok or not. Everybody else seems to be whacking him over the head at the moment. He won't listen. he put his fingers in his ears like most um, idiots like that. Anyway, see you later, guys. See ya.